from the garden, call it colour. I just love the wall art and the yellow just popped out. And remember, we spoke about putting yellow into your garden, all different colours. So let's get back to the wall art. Folks, wall art can be quite expensive if you're going to purchase it, literally like grabbing something beautiful that you can put on a wall. But what about if we found a way of making something that isn't so expensive, that's a bit inexpensive. So take a look at this baby that I've made. Literally, piece of pine frame, some PVC pipe, different apertures that we've cut into little lengths and then popped them in here, sprayed them with some gorgeous Rust-Oleum and then that can go on the wall. So what we're gonna need is one times cordless drill, four pieces of timber, two that are cut to 44 length, that's 44 centimeters, two that are cut to 60 centimeters, and some PVC glue, few screws, tape measure, hacksaw blade, and Rust-Oleum paint. I've got black and I've got a copper, um, and then some pieces of PVC piping. Let's start making the frame. First thing is I wanna show you the basic shape that we've got. There we go, okay. Now, in order to get going, I want to just drill the pilot holes literally in each of them, okay? Pretty simple exercise. We've got pilot holes drilled, one, two, three, four, and on the other side as well. Let's get this baby in place, and let's pop these guys in. Right, guys, there's my frame, looking gorgeous. Right, let's put that one side. Now we're gonna start with our PVC pipe. Um, and all we need to do now is literally just measure the depth. All right, now this is a standard depth, that's four and a half. So every piece that we're gonna cut literally needs to be a depth of four and a half. That's important so that you end up with it being flush on either side. But all we want to do now is literally just measure it up. There we go, just go all the way along. Hacksaw, folks, and just start cutting away. Right, guys, we've got our, all our pieces of PVC cut to size, and now all we start doing, working within the frame, and we can start off with maybe a big guy, take a little bit of your PVC weld, and you really don't need much, just a little stripe down there. And then we can just put it on, just like that. And then we can go with another one, smaller one, just so that it's got a point of contact. Okay, there we go. And we just carry on making our little pretties. Very therapeutic, I might tell you. All right, guys, looking pretty cool. And the idea now is to fill up this whole area using your frame as your guide. But then you might be saying, well, Antonio, what happens when you get to the corner? So imagine there, you don't want to see big gaps over there and we don't want to see a gap there. So then what you do is take whatever piece you've selected, whatever size, you're literally going to put it there, see where it is, all right, and then just mark it there, mark it there. All right, and then you're gonna cut this. Same way, cut it with the hacksaw and then you can just slip that little piece in. Now for this, guys, you can move the frame away because you've got your point of reference, so that makes life easier. Okay, let's pop a bit of the glue on and then pop the little baby in. Once you've filled up this whole thing, leave it, let it dry. By the time you get to the edge, it's probably dry already and then we are gonna get to spraying it. So you'll take your entire matrix of beautiful PVC piping, and then we're gonna spray it with the Rust-Oleum. All right, folks, now all that we've gotta do is give this frame a spray, and here we go. And then take your PVC square that you've got, or rectangle, and simply give it a spray with whatever color Rust-Oleum you want.
I'm extremely happy. All we need to do is now take it off and put it somewhere to dry. Here we go. Right, everything has dried off really nicely. Now we take the frame and we are gonna pop it over our rectangle of PVC piping. And you're gonna have to squish a bit and just move a bit because nothing is ever really, really perfect. But you'll get the idea as soon as you start doing it of how it's gonna fit in. There we go. And gently push it down. But um ha ha! We've got one amazing, cool wall art. Now all we've got to do is find an awesome wall to put it up. And remember, I made another two, so 